Hello, my lovely Aquarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aquarius, welcome to your January reading. And this reading will be in regards to your finance, your career, your money-wise, or your business. This is not a love reading for so ever. General energies in regards to your finances and career. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus, Science. And no, Aquarius, this might highly resonate with you, might highly do not. And of course, you know, if speaks to you, I'm very happy to hear your voice down in the commentary comments. And if doesn't really, just move along. Because for many, many of you might speak directly to, and many others of you might not. Let's see, Aquarius, we have gift, poverty, unexpected income, and distance horizons. And underneath we have mature woman. What I feel here, there is, a, there is high and lows this month for you. But it's kind of like, if you play your cards right, might be great. For some of you, indeed, there is coming something here, like an offer. And it's kind of like the right time, the right moment, because you really need it. Having this poverty card, I will see the energy from the past is like, well, I might not deserve this. But then, it's not the negative things because we all go through difficulties and we learn a lot from those moments. And indeed here we do have a good energy coming to you as unexpected. It's like I, I never I never expect this. It's like somebody here might feel like well whatever comes to me is not as easy or whatever comes I need to put a lot of effort and this is quite different because indeed here the reason Aquarius is like I don't believe in miracles and things like that but whatever is coming here is for a good change is for movement to you and if you struggle here, I feel here your struggles are quite over. Or whatever have been stagnant here, now it's movement, moving. And I might speak here that somebody here struggled with their jobs, career, for over life. And now you are mature, which that means like since a child you worked hard. And now you are in your 40s, 50s, 60s. And this opportunity comes here that is what? It's kind of like that question is like what? I never thought this will have. For some of you, you might have an inheritance here. And it's kind of like whatever you experienced till now might be in a couple months history but there is a life-changing here energy as well for for many many Aquarians let's see loves let's see my loves what we have here as we move forward what the universe want to share with you what the spirit want to share with you and what other blessings come to you Aquarius let's see hangman right here two of pentacles seven of pentacles Knight of Wands, Judgment, Ten of Swords, and Ace of Wands. 
that's the last card that something here indeed comes to you and underneath we have the Empress abundance growth movement but yes I feel you Aquarius you've gone through some things here but I feel here there is that like aha now I know what this was all, all about and something here indeed it's over whatever is like I waited for a change for a move for whatever it is because we're too many delays there's so many things here I don't know what else is there for me things like that but with the Knight of Wands I feel here could start something here in December for you but believe it or not by the mid mid March there is big changes big things are changing for you and whatever was stagnant it start moving and it's fast could be changes come one after another one it's like you gotta chew it quickly and might be a little overwhelming sometimes but indeed here there is like whatever was slow 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 small now it's quick and indeed you deserve it here you are this is what you want progress abundance movement you got it loves you got it and as well as we move you know we are into your energies moving forward you know they are coming these are the cards underneath the deck you know whatever it is here and indeed here that's the pure truth for you whatever it's here whatever it's coming for you it's indeed weighted it's for some of you might feel like well it's way too long I give up something here is like about to to giving up it's it's feeling like pointless that it's coming but also you have that little small seed inside that feels like well I had this under the ground you know a seed to start growing needs to stay in the dark so it was quite a long time here this period let's see but now you know it is coming underneath we have the moon it's like it's like even you feel like will come today tomorrow when hangman nine of pentacles five of wands and three of cups and underneath we have the hermit what we see here loves is the delays have been very much that whatever is there you anyway gotta go and push forward and the other thing here is competition always will be others will always want to take but very much is for you to pay attention that even there is you know competition there's opportunities and not everybody who came into your path over the time were for your own good or for your own progress it's more like it was for them not for you and for you very much was to pay attention to that two of pentacles death no more doubts no more heartbreak 
I'm gonna get what I need. And for some of you, you might wait for something to change because Seven of Pentacles is staying and waiting. Hangman, staying and waiting. Nine of Cups, staying and waiting. And the thing is, you gotta move something here because waiting were not quite a thing. Tower, that was the thing. That was the wake up. It's like, you know, one day you wake up. Many times the tower is like the judgment card for me because tower is like whatever you are build off needs to rebuild. Whatever foundation you had, whatever beliefs you had, they gotta change. Because indeed here, the tower is telling you that whatever you do, it's something not quite what you need to continue. King of Swords. Choose, my dear. Choosing something else. Changing the something, new things. It's like rebuilding yourself queen of pentacles and allow, allow that allow that so these things you ask from the universe to come to you and as well to grow within you what is this ace of wands for full Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Devil. It's like looking for real things. Real opportunities. And as well, don't follow in those old patterns. Might be some sort of addictions here. It's like clean up things. For an Aquarius here to, to move the life they want or to have the life they want, they need to break a pattern. And that pattern is quite painful. Whatever it is. Or you could break those patterns with somebody in particular. For some of you, might be a person or a cycle of friends which keep you small. That needs to be break for these things to happen to you. So indeed here, for some Aquarius, there is a life-changing energy. For others of you, it's breaking free from those who are keeping you stuck in a circle. It's kind of like, tell me who your friends are and I will tell you who you are. And there is something here that somebody here might tell you that you are not able to, but you are indeed are able. And indeed here, somebody here is breaking a cycle. Either a vicious, vicious cycle. Either 
either a cycle of friends, a gossip one. But indeed here there is an awakening moment for many of you Aquarius that I can do better, I can be better. And indeed it's a lot of growth here. With distance horizon here is detaching from those patterns which keep you small and getting closer to those patterns which lift you up and make you big. Because the universe is giving you as a gift. And that's the age of Aquarius speaking up. It is a gift you have but it's kind of underdeveloped. And now it's kind of with the tower, rebuild it. You might go up the ground to start building up something, but whatever it is, you know it. And whatever you are here to become, is quite what you wanted for a long time. So don't feel that it's a quick fix. It's kind of do it the right way. And indeed here there will not be an easy road, but it will be fast movement. So the thing is very much acceptance and whatever is in the stars about you might start to reveal itself, might start to come to fruition. Love and light Aquarius and that's quite something here you need to look into and if you feel this really speaks to you, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Namaste.